Let me go backstage and figure out how I've gotten into this mess uh, while I introduce the next guy who is a multi-award winning magician from the UK. He's an associate member of the Inner Magic Circle with a Silver Star. He's been performing magic for the past 16 years. He's known for his unique creations and his engaging personality. Please give it up for Dave Loosely. Hi, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Give me one moment. I'll just set the stage. Oh, perfect. Well, thank you for having me. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> let's carry on. Uh, I always like to see before I start how in tune with my audience I am. Okay, so I'm going to grab someone to help me out. I'm also going to grab a chair here. They're going to help me out for the duration <laughs> of the time. And it's going to be this lovely lady here. If you come take a seat, I'll give you a huge round of applause. <laughs> lovely to meet you. Uh, your name, Freda? Lisa. Lisa. Lisa, Dave. Everyone, Hi. Lisa. Oh, nice to you. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> Very kind. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try something. Lisa, in my back pocket, I have one playing card. This is a red back playing card. It's from an opposite pack of cards to the one I'm using. And this is how I see how in tune with you I am. You ready for this? Clear your mind? Perfect. Three. Name your card out loud. Just any card? Yeah, yeah. Normally a card consists of a number, a value, and a suit. This is going to be a tough evening for me. <laughs> uh, let's, let's try this again. No, no, it's not your fault. I picked you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> for the first time, can you name your card out loud? Three of hearts. Correct. Give her a huge round of applause. How good is that? How do you do it? No one knows. It's, it's magic. Look, let's do this for real, okay? Um, I'm going to drop little packets down here onto the table and I'd like you to say stop wherever you want. Stop. Okay? At this position, the eight of hearts. I'm going to get you to write your name across the face of the card, okay? Sign it nice and big across there. And the reason to do this is so that this is now a unique creation. There should be no other card like this in the world unless you do this for fun. Good. Okay, that helps me out. So everyone can see this. I'm going to hold it right up here. This is what it looks like on the face and, of course, the back. Lock that in your mind. Now, here's the funny thing. We had a laugh earlier on, and, but you never actually got to see the back, uh, sorry, the face of the, the card. You only saw the back. And I had a red card that was in here. Now, you just chose one. Do you remember what it was? The one I wrote my name on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I shouldn't. No, no, it's fine. No, you're doing well. It was the eight of hearts, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's gonna the eight of hearts. Did everyone see it? Yeah. yeah, it had a signature on it. Now, I'm not that good to replicate a signature, um, but if I had the eight of hearts in my hand, would this be a good starting trick? Yeah. How about if I was able to get Lisa's signature as well? <laughs> That's a good little trick. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, Lisa, that's a very, very special card. We will come back to that in just a moment. But we are going to try something, because as well as showing you magic, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I got into magic when I was six years old, yeah? And I used to create magic with stuff that was around me everywhere. I grew up with two sisters, and we used to do a lot together. We used to go camping. Anyone like the outdoors? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Well, you're going to like what I'm about to show you, because uh, they would go off and do their girly things, makeup and all that, and it wasn't for me. Um, I tried it, it just wasn't, <laughs> wasn't for me. So I had to come up with games to try and kill some time, and, and this is one of them, all right? So let me show you. How many in a box, normally? Is it 52? Very good. I love the way you're checking now with every question. <laughs> you don't trust me. Uh, normally 52. Inside here is one of these. Have you seen these before? If you've gone camping, you'll absolutely love these. These are great. All you have to do is push this here. Pops open. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that got the biggest laugh of the evening so far, right? <laughs> okay. We had to do push the bottom in here, you get yourself a cup, right? So you tip the juice, doesn't take up any room in your backpack, and then if you want to get rid of it, you flat pack it. It's a cool creation. I know half of you will probably go out and buy one now. For my next trick, no, I'm joking. Let me show you. I would also. <laughs> I would also unscrew uh, from my keychain uh, the little baseball and I would play a game. I would place this on the floor probably 10 feet away and I would try and throw the ball into the cup. All right? 
I would make it more and more difficult as we went through with different, different versions. But you're going to play this. I'm already scared. I'm really scared. Watch out, guys. If it looks like a ball's going to fly towards you, it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, round one, you would literally take the ball, you take the cup. We're not going to place it on the floor because I can see us losing it. So instead, we will just play here. Okay. Have a little go. And to avoid losing it, I'd probably... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> round two. Okay. okay, round two, I would use this uh, pen as a baseball bat. I had a big imagination when I was a kid. Good, right? And I would just tap it in like so. It is impressive, but now it's your turn. Yeah, I can do it. You can do it. And if, yeah. you, if she does it, you guys go crazy. Okay, don't, no, don't go crazy for that. No, that's fine. Uh, the third round is the hardest round, which is to get it in there. But again, I can see it hitting you guys. So basically, the reason I show you this is because... I played this so much that I got incredibly good at it, to the point that people think I was cheating. Some people thought I was cheating, some people thought I was using magic. I'll let you decide, okay? I'm going to pop the cup open, pop it down here on the table. Now, I would take the ball, I'd place it in my left hand, and I would tap it from about here. Now, people would swear that they never see it leave my hand, yet it would always end up under the cup. Now, you can be the judge whether it's magic or trickery. Just about here. All right, perfect. <laughs> Sometimes you have to wait, yeah. Uh, I would even take the ball, I wouldn't even need to use the bat. Right? I could take the ball, place it in my back pocket, just back here. I would merely gesture, like so. Gesture. <laughs> and that would make the, uh, the ball appear underneath the cup. Right. Now, I did say earlier, half of you will probably think I'm cheating, and half of you probably think this is magic. Raise your hand if you think I'm cheating. Almost half the room. <laughs> Come on, Ohio, that's not fair. <laughs> We've only just met. All right, no, I'll let you in on a secret. I'll let you in on a little secret. Um, I, am, I am cheating. I am. No, <laughs> okay. I don't remember this being a double act at any point, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> did you get the script and I didn't? <laughs> I'll let you in on a secret. People think it uses an extra ball, uh, and it's not one extra ball. I do use an extra ball. It's actually an extra eight balls. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, now I did say that this card was very special, and I did say that I had quite a vivid imagination. So I love to just create with stuff that's around. So how about we try something now? Awesome. I'm a bit scared about this, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. Um, here's what I have here. Uh, a red pack of cards now matching your cards, so we can lose it in. All right. Um, I'm going to go through the cards like so. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what. You just touched the back of one. One. Oh, one. <laughs> I thought you said, um. Okay, and please... <laughs> I'm not going to encourage her, okay? Because <laughs> place the card back here for me. Your card. Yeah. It's going to be a long show, guys. <laughs> you see it here. Now, this is a position we've placed it into. But the card and the position is not important. It's what we're about to do. Let's use something around us. Perfect. This will do. Coca-Cola. Do you drink it? You good. Fantastic. All right. Now I know. Okay. <laughs> what, what I'd like you to do is to hold on to my wrist nice and tight. Okay? And we're going to come over here. Make sure that my fingers never leave my hand. Okay. <laughs> She's actually doing it, though. <laughs> That's really cool. Watch. Three, two, one. It hurt you. No, that hurt me. <laughs> watch, watch. Ah. Just about here. You may now let go. Thank you. The cap has gone. You don't trust me, right? You don't trust me. No, but watch. Nothing in my hands. I want you to imagine now that that cap is starting to melt down through the cards, okay? Almost become cartoony. It's melting down through the cards. You're really imagining that. That's great. And then it reforms itself on the back of one playing card. Now, hopefully you guys will be able to see this up here. But I'm going to go through the cards here just like so. Weird, right? 
Can you see that, guys? <laughs> now, you haven't seen the card yet, but you can see it's kind of in there, on there. Really weird. Have a feel. It's like cartoony. Yeah. And that is on the back of one card, and one card only. And that just so happens to be Lisa's signed Eight of Hearts. The thing is, you can never tamper with these things. You have to put them back to reality. So can you cut your hands for me? Watch. If I do this. Don't take your eyes off, guys. Show it to them. There we go. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. Lisa, I will leave that there for you. And if you put that underneath your pillow tonight in the morning... Well, it, it will still be there, I'm not that good, but uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, as I say, um, that's a little bit about myself. I, I'm going to tell you a little bit more. I, I used to, all, no, no, you stay, unless you, you really want to leave. No, no you, you've don't. been, isn't she been great? Yeah. Yeah. You've been fantastic. So I'm going to try something with you. Um, as I said, you know, as you saw with the cup and the ball, I love to play games and sort of try different ideas out. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. When I was a kid, we played this game. It was a memory game. You may be familiar with it. It would use two packs of cards, not playing cards, but they'd have pictures on it or shapes or numbers, and they'd be identical. And the idea is that you mix them all in together and you try and remember as many of the pair's locations and you turn them all face down. And then your job is to only turn two cards at a time, and that way you had to find the pairs. The one with the most pairs wins. Have you heard of this game? Yeah, cool. So what I thought would be really cool is if I just took one of those decks of cards and I could influence somebody's choice. And that's going to be you. First off, I'm going to pop this up here. Oh, yes, the excitement. This is the sweet memory game. This is the tuck shop version. And I've pushed the boat out. I've taken one deck. This is from the British and American sweet version. Okay, so there will be some that you recognise here because there's some that I don't recognise, <laughs> all right? I'll show you that. If you, hear, if you see your favourite, feel free to whoop, but bear in mind they are pictures. I didn't bring the real thing for everyone. The first one, Reese's Pieces. <laughs> yeah, no one's not, not a big fan's in, that's fine. <laughs> love Hearts, we heard of Love Hearts? Yeah. Not at all, okay. Polos. You, that's a British one. You, you guys have Lifesavers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> We broke the third wall, that's great. Uh, I'll show you, I don't know what that is. That's, yeah, the there we go, Tootsie Pop. <laughs> We've got an avid fan in with the Tootsie Pop. Um, Airheads, yeah, I'll show you, Twinkies, and then, yeah, you like, Twinkies is a good one? Okay, <laughs> Tootsie Roll, what's a Tootsie Roll? That means something different, I think, back home. What, what is? <laughs> Chocolate, okay. <laughs> Skittles, you get the idea. There are a bunch of different ones here. So you're gonna choose one. And I have a little prediction inside here. So, hold your finger out like this. Perfect. You're going to touch the back of one of the cards. Okay. One of the cards. <laughs> um, yeah, it can be anywhere. This one. Now, I'm going to pop it out like this. Out wh one second. Because I know later, when you're talking about this afterwards, someone goes, oh, yeah, but you only had the choice of one card. This is the moment now where you can change your mind. You can go a few to the left, a few to the right, pick a different card, or you stick with the mind you've got. Lyrics never change. Perfect. Take it out. Show it to everyone. Let everyone see. I'll look down here because of the monitor. Everyone's familiar with, hopefully, this? <laughs> okay, and place it face down here. Now, I had a prediction. I've influenced you from what I'm talking and what I'm saying to pick one in particular. Yes, way. So, after three, I'd like you to name your suite out loud. You ready? Uh, <laughs> you almost named it after three. Here we go. I got really excited. One. Two, three. Mini Oreos. Skittles. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check it again and we'll try it again. And probably Mini Oreos. What? Mini Oreos. Can we try again? No, no. It's my fault. No, 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 please. Um, I have in here. Prediction. 
and it's Skittles. I ge <laughs> genuinely, yeah. I've okay, right. We're in a predicament, but you're going to help me get out of it. I will do my best. Good. Do you have a good imagination? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> I thought you might. Okay. Let's try this. Do you like Skittles? I love Skittles. Good. Especially the purple ones. The purple ones. Okay, I'm not going to sift through them. <laughs> Whatever you get. <laughs> Taking requests now, okay. <laughs> Watch. Okay. Um, with your right hand, just make a little cut for me. I'm going to tip out. I'm going to use it into your hand. Did you get a purple one? I did. Thank you. Go on then. I know you're eager to. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> with your other hand, hold on to them for me uh, at the top so that I can't get in. Okay. That's perfect. So here's what we're going to do. You, we messed up. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, collective, we messed up. So we're going to try and get out of this. Okay. Now, when I was a kid, I, I had a really vivid imagination, a crazy imagination. So sometimes I be really believe that what I was seeing in here was happening. And I'm going to ask you to try and do that for me. Okay. Um, so if you could, you can either throw one in or probably all in. in my house. You're going to go for all? Yeah. yeah, preferably in your mouth, not over. Okay, okay ready? Well, like literally throw Go it for it. Off. Okay. <laughs> cool, but don't chew. No, I'm joking. Uh, have a chew. Now close your eyes, face front, close your eyes for me. Okay, perfect. Now this is serious. I want you to just listen to my voice now. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Well, as you chew, you, it's going to taste sweet. It's going to taste fruity. Almost that part in your uh, mouth is going to feel almost tangy. You know that when it goes sour, yeah? You get, right. I want you to imagine now as you chew that it's starting to change. It's starting to change bitter. It's starting to change creamy. And it's starting to almost be like biscuit-like. Now, that's not really happening, but in her imagination, it's a strong thing. Yeah? Wow. Good. With your right hand, wave it over your left hand and say the word change. Change. Perfect. I don't want to touch anything. You may open your eyes. You've been fantastic. Can you now tip the Skittles out mm -hmm. and sit here for me? Go for it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> wow. We got through that together. So well done. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now look. Every time I have a lot of fun with an audience, um, I always like to teach a trick. Do you want to learn a trick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can't leave this room, though, okay? Or the internet. <laughs> right, here we go. Um, I'm going to give you one of these. This oh, is thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is all you have to do. If you could hold this in front of you, you're going to tear straight down the middle, okay? So two even halves. Mm. No, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> place, one, place one on top of the other for me and turn the landscape. Yeah. And straight down the middle. <laughs> no, that's good. Okay. Place the other one on top of the other one. And scrumple it up into a ball. I'm a good scrumpler. You're a good scrumpler. Right? <laughs> Place it here just so I can show everyone at home and show everyone here. Now, are you right or left-handed? Right. Right-handed. I have a cup here. I'm going to place this in. Place your right hand on it. Place your other hand on top for me. And now it's really important that you concentrate. Okay. Face front. And now close your eyes one more time. Because here's what we're going to do. In a moment, you're going to follow some very simple instructions. Okay? okay. Very simple instructions. But first, I'd like you to take a deep breath in and out. Very good. In and out. Right, okay. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, do you feel relaxed? Because it's important you're in a relaxed state for this trick. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Super, okay. Super. Here's what we're going to do lift your hand up for me. The Top hand, top. yeah. And open your eyes, open your eyes. OK, 
Okay, the hand was there so I couldn't get in and tamper with the ball you've just torn. So I'm now going to show you the action that I'm going to ask you to do. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. You go once, twice, three times, okay. and you throw it into the cup. Okay. Each and each one. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. You're thinking about this far too much. Twice, three times. And throw it into the cup. Perfect. Okay. Now, if she's done this right, you guys will all go crazy for her. Okay? <laughs> Hopefully she's done this. Take it, see if you've restored it. You know what? You are the chicken. No freaking way. <laughs> wow. I can hear it. You are. I almost feel bad now. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. That trick was for you. It was a moment of magic created in your mind, and it was a bit of fun for everyone in the audience. But I'm not about just creating magic for one person. I like magic for everyone. So the way this really worked was I threw the torn one over your head. I can't see it. I know, that's why it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and it landed down there on the floor. Yeah, I know. Can you do me one favour? If you wouldn't mind standing up for me. If you head over there and pick that one up for me. Because uh, I'm about doing magic for everyone. Once, twice, three times. Oh, yeah. I forgot that part. Yeah, wait, that'll wait, do. Wait, once, twice, three. Perfect. Okay. Open it up. See if we have a trick for everyone. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat. Okay. Here, here. We're almost done. Every time she's like well, stood up, she's tried to get back. Time. No, it's fine. It's been great. So th the final trick it is imperative that I have someone with great observation skills. <laughs> so could you pick? Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to test your observation okay. skills. Okay. All right. So a little test for you. And it's really important you pay attention, but everyone else can play along as well. Okay. Um, so... This is what we're going to do. Pop these on here. Question number one. What colour was the box? Red. Good. <laughs> Don't panic too much. They're not that hard questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, this is the only time now we're going to choose a different card. I will leave that just there. Okay. All right. Um, red cards are the ones I, I prefer. But in a moment, I'm going to run my thumb down the corner. I'd like you to say stop. Okay. okay. Stop. Yeah. At that position, if you could take the card and show everyone the card. Okay. Yeah. Let everyone see it. It's fine. This is a very, very quick observation test, so you can all play along. There's the card. You can you see it there? That's where we cut to. It's going to go into the middle. Now, if I click my fingers, did you see your card turn blue? No. No? Because it hasn't yet, that's why. Okay. <laughs> it's when we do this, that's when they all turn. <laughs> well... <laughs> Every single card, not these, I'm not that good, but every single card here turns blue bar from one. If I click twice, the, these will go as well. <laughs> All bar one cards. Well, before you turn it over, what colour was the box? Red. I forgot. Oh, okay, never mind. It's fine. <laughs> take it. Take it. Show everyone. Let them see. The five of hearts. <laughs> So we've learnt from that that you're not very observant, <laughs> which I'm a bit worried, but I'm going to crack on with the final trick anyhow. Um, are you here with this gentleman? Mm -hmm. Is this your, your husband? No. Partner? No. Oh, friend. friend. Is this a date? <laughs> Too personal. Okay. Um. This is a date. This is my first online date. Oh, wicked. <laughs> very good. She's quite a funny person. She's really lovely. So, I'm going to borrow something from you, if you don't mind. Um, do you have on you a bank card or your driving licence? You have both. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. What would be best, probably, if you could, bu if you could pass her your bank card, because she'll probably need to get used to that. <laughs> that would be fantastic, because we are going to play a game. All right. I'll get the card before I explain what the game is. 
Tap it. Oh, okay. I will put it down here so people don't <laughs> see it on the camera. <laughs> here we go. Um, you may not be familiar with these, but these are lottery cards from the UK. You basically write your numbers on them. Uh, so you can keep them in your wallet and you just play the same numbers. They basically have no value whatsoever. This, on the other hand, <laughs> almost no value. <laughs> you said it, not me. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to place these in. Like so. That's number two. Now, I did say you needed to be observant for this, uh -huh. and I wasn't lying. Okay. And it makes it even more important now, because this is a first date, that you're observant for this. Okay? Just so we're on the same page here. And that's the fourth one. Now, card number five <coughs> is going to be this one. That's going to go, can you see that? It's going to go in here. You see? You love whispering. <laughs> Watch. Um, I've also put on this one a red sticker. This means we can follow it until the last moment, which you, you're going to need to be able to do. You're on it? You're on it? All right. We're going to have a test run. Okay. I'm going to turn these down. Can you pass me the... Um, ah, see? Oh, look, right, that. okay, here we go. I'm going to turn them face down. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. This is just a test run. We've still got the sticker on it. Uh -huh. okay. Point to where you believe it to be. Okay. Very good. Okay, right. No... <laughs> Don't clap. Okay, we all knew it was there. It's fine. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, I'm now going to remove the sticker. This is where it gets interesting. Oh, I've got bifocals on. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Uh -huh. This is round one. Okay. <coughs> Remember where it is, uh -huh. and give me two that you want to lose. The two you choose are the ones we lose. These two? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. And you remember where your one is? Uh-huh. Cool. So these two are eliminated. Okay. <laughs> you chose them. <laughs> I'll hold it here. Make sure you cut this bit and not this bit, all right? Okay. It's the only part of the trick that I'm genuinely now a bit nervous. Right, okay. It's blue. They're all blue. Okay. <laughs> yeah? Pick me one. To get rid of? Yeah. Awesome. Go for it. Do not worry, God, because it's only gone wrong once, okay? So, okay. <laughs> this is my second attempt, but we'll just put that out there. But, <laughs> but it's fun, right? And We're having fun. Me, yeah. Okay. Are you still on, on the one? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I mean, as much as I do that, it's going to, right, pick one last one to eliminate. The one you eliminate leaves us with this one, correct? Uh -huh. That leaves us with one. This is going to be a perfect end to a perfect show and the start of an awesome date. So, okay. you're going to open it up, remove his bank card. It's a big finale. They'll go crazy for you. <laughs> oh, boys. Is there another one in there? Magic. I have got a lot of points on my Costa card, though. Just like I love coffee, and so he doesn't drink coffee. He's like, well, then there's a fuss, right? Look, let me explain. There's a thing in magic called a, a lead up, right? A build up, where we lead you up the garden path, make you believe it's gone wrong, and then boom, we hit you with an incredible trick. Yeah, I don't do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is called a mess up. Uh, but 
I have in here some more of these cards. So if you've got the driving license free, we can play again. <laughs> <laughs> I have realised something though. This is the only card that I keep in a different bit to this. Oh. I normally keep the Costa Coffee card inside of it. Oh, oh. No. No way. <laughs> One card. I'd like you to remove it out of my wallet. I'd like you to show it to everyone. Is that <laughs> your card? That is really amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Give her a huge round of applause. Let's take this one. Ladies and gentlemen, I have had an absolute blast. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Keep it going for Dave Loosely. Nice job, Dave. Fantastic.